Okay, now that we know what epithelial tissue is, what their properties are, and how many subtypes there are, let's go ahead and look at this tissue samples here. So epithelial tissue, as you can see here, this is a sample of the epithelia, squamous epithelia. Simple squamous epithelia, this little purple dots that we are looking at, focus on any segment. It's just lower magnification. These purple dots, these are basically nothing but these are the nuclei. For individual, you can say nucleus. Okay. When we change this into higher magnification, you can see a little better. You can see that this dark nuclei, it's a nucleus, that's a nucleus as well. And these are flat cells. These cells themselves, basically around each nucleus, there is a cell. These are flat cells. You can kind of see their boundaries too. This is simple squamous epithelia. In a regular face-to-face -face lab, usually we extract our cheek cells and look at those. Simple squamous epithelia. This is squamous epithelia stratified in the skin. So if you look at the name here, it says keratinized stratified squamous epithelia. Now keratinized. Keratinized means filled with keratin. Now, keratin is a protein. It makes our skin slightly water repellent. Okay. The fact that we don't lose our skin if we stay in shower for too long is because of this keratin. So stratified squamous epithelia, which is keratinized. Look at this light orange layer here, or here, or here. This is the part that's keratinized. The top 30 rows of our skin are keratinized. So keratinized, top 15 to 30 rows, max 30 rows. Rows of simple, uh, sorry, not simple, stratified squamous epithelia. Below that, this zone, this is the stratified squamous epithelia. So this is not keratinized, but these are. Keratinized cells are basically dead cells. So the surface of our skin are filled with dead keratinized squamous epithelia. And because these are multiple rows, we refer to these as stratified. Flat cells, look at this. All you can see, these purple dots that you see here are the nuclei. So these are squamous, they're flat. So simple and stratified squamous epithelia. Simple cuboidal epithelia. So you can see simple cuboidal epithelia. This is a section of our kidney. This is pretty nice. You can see the cube-like shape right there, here, here. I'm basically drawing the border of cells right there, see? Notice that these are cube-like. And that nuclei are central. So they are central nuclei. This is a section of our kidney. So simple cuboidal epithelium. Simple, a single row. As you can see, this is just a single row. Single row of cube-like cells. Simple cuboidal epithelia. Same thing here. You can see the whole structure of kidney. These are simple cuboidal epithelia lining the 
you need to use right there. A single row. Recall epithelial tissue lines or covers, covering or lining epithelia. The space in the middle right there. This is what we refer to as lumen. Lumen, which is empty space within hollow fractures. Simple cuboidal epithelia, both this and this. Here you can see the lumen too. The space in between here, this, this is all lumen. Simple cuboidal epithelia. It's just another version, simple cuboidal epithelia. Then we have simple columnar epithelia. You can clearly see how these cells are tall, tall and column-like. So basically this is a cell, that's a cell, that's a cell, that's another cell, that's another cell. Tall, column-like, which is why this is referred to as simple, single row, as you can see, columnar epithelia. Something else that you are seeing here. Columnar epithelia, some cells of the columnar epithelia are slightly modified to produce and contain mucus. As you know, columnar epithelia are present, as we learned, respiratory and digestive tract. In both places, we secrete mucus. Okay. So some, a certain percentage of columnar epithelia the cells are modified to produce and contain mucus. Those cells, those modified cells, look slightly different than regular columnar epithelia. They look like wine goblet. So they are referred to as goblet cells. So where are these goblet cells? Basically, look at this here, or this here. Look like wine goblet, and they are filled with mucus, so they appear whitish. Let's focus on this cell here. This is a goblet cell. Or let's focus on this one here, or this one here, or this here. If you look. You can see that goblet cells are all throughout, present all throughout the columnar epithelia. So, yeah. so this or this or this, these are what we refer to as goblet cells filled with mucus. Same thing, we are focusing on single row, columnar epithelia. You also notice that there is a term called microvilli. So microvilli, let's see what this is all about. So columnar epithelia, These are ciliated or non ciliated. Cilia, you may have learned this. Basically, you are talking about a cell with a long extension. When the cells have longer extension, those are called cilia. If they are shorter extension, they are called microvilli. So here, these cells have shorter extension toward the lumen. We learned this is the lumen. This is the lumen. Basically, the shorter extensions are called microvilli. That makes this is a 
non ciliated columnar epithelium. So you can write the full name as simple columnar epithelium, non ciliated. Let me write it up here. Compare that with ciliated columnar epithelia. So again, we are looking at columnar epithelia right there. Look at the extensions. These are cilia. So ciliated columnar epithelia, column-like tall cells, some goblet cells too, as you can see. Recall goblet cells are part of columnar epithelia. And here, these extensions are long. That's why you call them ciliated, right there. See that? Extensions are long, long extension. So this is what this whole fuzzy zone, so to speak. These are cilia. Why? These cells are the columnar. Epithelia. Okay. Pseudostratified columnar epithelia. So pseudostratified, as we learned, pseudostratified meaning something that looks multiple layers but actually not. So Pseudo stratified. Let's look at this here. Again, through our respiratory tract, we we'll find pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelia. So, columnar, we can clearly identify this tall cells. Okay. Ciliated because the fuzzy border is very obvious. It's obvious right here as we just looked at the ciliated columnar epithelia. Why are we calling this pseudo stratified? It's because when you look at this row, let's focus on this one right here. It looks like there are two rows of cells. One is here, one is here, at two different levels, not really. What happens with the pseudo stratified cells is that the cells, it appears stratified when it's actually a single row because Cells are of unequal heights. So kind of when we draw this, some cells are short, other cells are tall. Cells are of unequal height. So this unequal height, what happens that they are nuclei because you know, nuclei takes the darkest stain. And this is what is mostly visible. So the nuclei are at different levels. So if we are to draw this, it would be nuclei here and here. And for this cell, it's here. And for this cell, it's here. And for this cell, it's there. There could be another cell where the nuclei are up here. So when you are looking at it, it would appear that this is one row and this is another row. When in reality, they're just a single row of cells. It's just that the nuclei are at different levels. So that's basically what you're looking at here. Let me see if I can erase this. Exactly. So, this is what it 
we are looking at here. Nuclei at different levels. When we enlarge that, you can see that even better. See, nuclei slightly taller, nuclei like slightly lower. So this is one cell, this is another cell, this is another cell. But this is basically same, a single row of cells. But because the nuclei are at different levels, this would look like these two belong to one row while this belongs to another row. That's not true. Basically, these cells are, some are short, some are tall. You can see here, some are short, some are tall. And here is the cilia. So pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelia. So we went through simple squamous epithelia, stratified squamous epithelia, simple cuboidal epithelia, lumen, simple columnar. We learned what a goblet cell is. Again, we revisited what lumen is. And we learned that columnar epithelia are ciliated and non-ciliated. So this is non-ciliated with microvilli, and here are ciliated columnar epithelia, simple. And here are pseudo-stratified ciliated columnar epithelia. Okay. All right, so that finishes our epithelial tissue.